Did you know that ACE inhibitors often cause a dry cough? Now you might be wondering, what are ACE inhibitors? Well, they are a type of medication widely prescribed for conditions like hypertension and heart failure. They're pretty effective at what they do, but they do come with a catch. You see, a significant number of patients, up to 35% in fact, experience a persistent dry cough as a side effect. Imagine a cough that just won't quit, a dry, nagging sensation that's always there, without any signs of a respiratory infection or other apparent causes. It's not life-threatening, but it can certainly impact one's quality of life and even medication adherence. And the most intriguing part? This cough isn't tied to the dosage of the medication, but varies greatly among individuals. The mechanism behind this dry cough is both complex and intriguing. So let's delve a little deeper into the science behind this phenomenon in the next segment. The dry cough from ACE inhibitors is due to their action on our body's biochemistry. These medications work in a fascinating way, blocking the conversion of a substance called angiotensin 1e into another potent compound known as angiotensin 2. This action is crucial in lowering blood pressure, but it also results in the buildup of two other substances, namely bradykinin and substance P, within the respiratory tract. These substances, especially bradykinin, are notorious for enhancing cough reflex sensitivity. Consequently, they trigger a dry, irritating cough that can be quite persistent. This cough is not productive, meaning it doesn't bring up any phlegm or mucus, and it typically occurs without any signs of respiratory infection. It's not a life-threatening side effect, but it can be a nuisance, impacting the quality of life and even the willingness of patients to continue with their medication. This adverse effect, although not life-threatening, can significantly impact quality of life and medication adherence. Managing this cough can be challenging, but there are options. Often, discontinuing the use of ACE inhibitors leads to the resolution of the cough. However, this isn't always a feasible solution for patients who rely on these medications for heart or blood pressure conditions. In such cases, switching to angiotensin II receptor blockers, or ARBs, may be recommended. ARBs offer similar cardiovascular benefits without the increased risk of inducing a cough. It's essential to acknowledge the variability of this side effect among individuals. Genetic factors play a significant role in this variability, with some populations, particularly those of East Asian descent, appearing more susceptible to this dry, irritating cough. This brings us to the importance of personalized medical approaches. Not all patients on ACE inhibitors experience this dry cough. Some tolerate these drugs well without any respiratory issues. Understanding this phenomenon underscores the importance of tailored treatment plans and the need for continuous monitoring and adjustment of prescribed medications.